Oh my gosh. Look at all of the glass. Oh my gosh. Gosh, do you see all the swung vases? I am here in Columbus, Wisconsin. This is actually the largest antique mall in Wisconsin. So we are gonna continue shopping in this one on the first floor. We have a, a whole wing to go, and then we also have a second floor to go, and maybe a third floor. This is really hard for me to leave because it's antique milk glass. Surprise, antique milk glass. As is because it's missing one of the three shakers but it's old, and it's, so it's known as a cruet set, by the way. And um, I'm just gonna get it because I can imagine you could put something else here, like maybe little toothpicks or something. Just have them like sticking up. Or you could get like some sort of a, you know, something to stick them in. Oh, um, there's other ideas, right? Or just get like tiny little flowers and stick them in there. Or stick a candle in it. Candle. A candle would actually be a really smart idea. Four dollars. I can't not get that. Like, that is beautiful. And I love the pink. I literally have no space left in the cart at all. Oh boy. I've got this penguin for six dollars. You're kidding. Christmas is coming up. That's when the March of the Penguins exists. That's when all them penguins march around town. I, I made that up. I really don't know what I'm talking about. Penguins are always marching around town. They've got places to go. What's this little bird with the caning inside of it? It's only $5. Nuts. And there's all these bells and bears and birds and toothpick holders and apples. Well, once again, I found a really cool piece of milk glass. This is antique milk glass, but look at the shape of it. How it has like that little swivel. This one is $4, which is outstanding. $42 for the pair of the persimmon um, candle holders right there. Oh, this is cool. Cat on a drum box. That's really neat with the slag, the blue slag. Just found another one of these trees. So if you hadn't watched my other video, it's a recent video. I just bought a whole bunch of these at another very large, very, very large antique mall in um, Wisconsin. Like, I don't know where to put it. Um, but that one, $6.50 is such a good price for that. That's really, really, you're, you're beautiful. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, it's a really good one as well. I've been finding a lot in Wisconsin. Oh, we got some flower frogs here. That's an interesting shape. Call it a pencil holder, but it's a flower frog. Two dollars and fifty cents. There's two of them. Oh wow. Yeah, that's not for pencils. That's I think it's a flower frog. Should be. That's really cool pottery. I'm not sure who did these, but I'm gonna pick them up because they're beautiful. I like this. So like it's a like a burgundy and blue. Burgundy and blue. Let's get both of those. Is that macaroni? Well, I thought I might have found another one of these K Finches from that one vendor, but this one's $29.50, so it's not. Meh. Oh my gosh, I almost missed this. When I say I almost missed it, I mean I completely shopped this whole booth already, and I decided to come back to it because it was one of the first booths by this WIL person. <laughs> this is a very old, and it's only $8.75. Um, pretty sure it is Challoner, ugh, Challoner and Thomas, I think, or something like that. Challoner, I don't know. My mind is not working right now. Let me put these over here. I wanna say it's maybe Challoner, Taylor, Challoner and Taylor? Let's go with that, Challoner and Taylor. Um, it's another piece of antique milk glass. Uh, that might be called the something of life. Something of life? I don't know, but it is from about the late 1800s. Very, it's a very good piece. So I'm gonna get that. Just gonna shove it in wherever it'll fit. <laughs> I'm so happy I came back here to look. Because, yeah, the milk glass seems to be where it's at in this mall 
for me. I mean, there's other things too. There's like glassware, of course, but I've been finding a lot of deals with the like night stuff around the 1900s era. I was thinking about this again too. I don't know. 975. That's really not a bad price. That's the holly and berry pattern. And this is only five dollars seventy-five for the swung vase. It's just the shipping. The shipping on that is going to be annoying. It has a big wide mouth on it. Oh, I don't know. I don't really want to deal with it. Okay, so I'm going back to the front of the store, and I'm not actually sure what else there is. I, I added this, I didn't even show it to you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that looks like Halloween already. It is marked Made in Japan for $6.50. The colors are everything. It's kind of reminiscent to like a Czechoslovakian type pottery in the way that it's done but I just love it. So we're gonna go out this way. Look at this artwork, $125. I love the frame. Isn't that beautiful? And there's that one for 65. It's just like a whole aesthetic in here. All these different pieces. This one is 95. And then I noticed over here, we've got some R. Atkinson Fox. Look at this one. The color on that is amazing. You've got all of the tones still there. It's not bleached out. So 40 for that is very good. 45 for the garden print. And then 45 for this other, this other one. The frame on this is amazing as well. Those two frames are really, really cool. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm like really good about it. Like I, I'm not gonna buy any of them. I'd like to maybe, but honestly though, if it was $20, if every one of those was $20, I'd buy every single one of them. I would, and I wouldn't feel bad about it. By the way, this is known as the charm pattern by Anchor Hawking. And they made this in this blue color. They made those in different colors. There's like a forest green version as well. That's pretty popular. Franciscan apple, love it. And lots of flow blue. All the flow blue and the little cottage those are cute oh the fire king sw swirl that's pretty little teacups ah the majolica 70 dollars for that one that's a very nice piece okay let's keep going my card is ridiculous but that's fine that's the whole point of this trip isn't it to fill it up look at this way I'm secretly trying to find more of that one vendor, the WIL vendor, because that's I, the chances are higher that I buy stuff in those booths than the others. 75 for that carnival glass bowl. Oh, here's a Majolica bowl, little berry bowl, $24. That's beautiful. You're very beautiful, you know, yes. Well, that's a cute one too. I like the frame. This is that wood with gesso or plaster, 75. Oh my, do you see what I'm looking at? So of course there's all the, the, um, the Fenton, but see those pixies back there? They have $6 on each of those and I'm going to get them both, I think. The red cold paint on the one in the back is a little bit like, you can see it now, I focused it. It's a little bit peeling off. That happens, you could repaint it and touch it up if you'd like. I'm not, I'm just gonna sell it as it is. But I'm gonna get both of those. Those are great prices, $6 for each of those. But I need to get in the case. We've got a Napco Wear Mrs. Claus. That's not a bad price. Brownie gold. Oh, those seahorses, oh my gosh. $46 for the pair firm. Wow. So yeah, this is case E. We've gotta get it into case E. Got little figurines over there. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else I wanted to get whenever um, I have them come open it. $28 for the four Japan singing girls. That's a plastic, look at that plastic L for 16. It's really good as well. Okay, well, it looks like just the two pixies for me. Well, I just noticed this case with all of the anthropomorphic shakers in it. And we've got the strawberry ones, 
Those are $9.50. And then there's some back there that I can't see. Oh, there we go. $15 for the fork and the teapot. And then there's some blue ones. But I'm going to get in here for those strawberry ones because I like those strawberry ones. Look down here. You've got a grape. Is it a single grape? I might have to get that one too. So there's a little grape and an onion looking guy. He's sad about it. He holds salt. And then there's some strawberries back there for $9.50. And the pineapple people. I have to get the pineapple people. But first I gotta get the lady with the key. Because they're all locked up. But, oh, look at the little guys. I think they're apples. So yeah. Oh yeah, here's another fork and spoon set. And the radishes. I might get those radishes if, if they're good. Only if they're good. If they're not good, I'm not gonna get them. I'm gonna leave them behind. I gotta get a lady though for a key. Let's go do that right now. So we need, I don't remember. Oh, H A S and case E. That's the two that we need. Let's go get that key. Luckily, we're right up towards the front so we can get it. Oh, there's actually a whole nother section of, oh, nuts. <gasps> really? It goes back there too. Oh my gosh, and there's an upstairs. I, I don't know what we're gonna do. I showed you two of these little pixies. This is the one that I'm getting. The other one had a little chip on the back. This one looks great for $6. Okay, we're gonna, oh my. We're gonna continue with a fresh card. Look at their little raccoon. That's Rose Lane for $16. Beautiful. Oh yikes, there's more flamingos. That's just like the other video. I saw flamingos right whenever I started. They have $16 on that one, which is not much. I have to think about that one. Then there's that little one next to it, and I don't see a price on that, but let's just assume that it's probably, I don't know, $14 or $12. Or maybe four, or maybe 16 like the other. But gosh, there's a hat lady for $40 firm. So I might have to revisit this case specifically to look at those flamingos because that could be something that I want. They've got all these little Christmas goobers here. Christmas goobers. Look at this little glitter, this little glittery snowman for $8.75. That's adorable. It has like the little pipe cleaner arms. This is our friend W.I.L. which we uh, bought so much from in the previous video. There's all these cases full of stuff. It's getting hard for me because, oh, another flamingo, because I just, it's just like, there's so much I could buy, but I'm like, what, I need to like stop perhaps, because you know, there's a lot. Murano, 165 for the pair, the Roseville back there, huge one for 148. That flamingo is not a bad price. I have some similar to that, so I don't want to get it for myself. Oh, it's been so long since I've gotten one of these, but it's an Ohio Art Bank for $8. These are really popular, these little banks, so I'm going to pick this one up. Oh, look at all the blue opalescent. Oh my gosh. Birds. Oh, those are so cool. $48. The Kinetic Mid-Century Lucite Birds. And the baby, it's a ceramic wall plaque. Oh, look at the little baby monkey planter. That's an Arco for 18. Ooh, it is a paperweight of a unicorn for only $6. And it has the Bulacante bubbles, the controlled bubbles on the interior. That is so pretty. I'm gonna put that in the cart too. Yes, indeed. They've got all these other little fish and apples and all kinds of fun things. Oh, these are really cool. So it's this black silver overlay, $6 for the pair of them. It's actually not really silver overlay. It's more like plastic with like a chromium type, aluminum type overlay, but they're certainly art deco. That is so cool. Let me get both of those, $6 for the pair. It's really great. Now this is really good. This is known as a bride's bank. And sometimes people don't know. $12.50 is a fantastic price for this. So I am going to pick it up. 
I don't see anything wrong with it. But yeah, it's Victorian and era. So you'd put cash in it. Cash money. What is the... Oh, we've got the safety pin art. This one is one of the more colorful ones I've ever seen. $8.50. I love what they did with that. This looks very cool. I'm tempted by this one. But look at the pink one back here, even. They have $12.50 on it. Do the glass eggs come with it? Oh, that is clever. I feel like I want both of those. Would I be ridiculous if I said I did? $12.50. It's just adorable the way they did that. I'm going to be good and not get them, even though they're very, very cool. Okay, so I think we're about to go upstairs. Oh my gosh, all the pixies in here. Wow, that little boy blowing his horn is $30. And the left and candy cane kid is 50 firm. Oh my gosh, look at those. They're gold pixies with their box. And that's Commodore Japan. 90 firm on those. And look at this one, the standing one. Oh my gosh. Fire King Jadeite. That smiley face mug is really cool. I haven't really seen that before. Oh my gosh. I've sold her. I've sold her and that banana girl before. They did really well for me. And they have all the Christmas ones too. All the ceramic trees. 95 for this one. You know, you can still paint these yourself. You could if you don't want to spend that much. It takes a lot of effort, but you can do it. You can. I like this one. I have one of these at home too. 65. You got that little guy for 24 and these for $20 each. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do both of these flamingos and they're each $16. I think they're adorable. So I'll get both of those and add them to my growing pile. All right, so now we are going upstairs to the second level and to be I'm lost already to be okay well we'll just start it says more mall and there's arrows pointing to the left but what about the right oh my gosh yeah well, there's more that way too oh my gosh this entire room I came to the left you're kidding. This place just keeps going. I mean, it's really, really remarkable. You're, you'll have to come. It smells like cedar in here. Pretty sure what that smell is. Oh, can't get this way. It's just like the ceiling is so cool. All of the pillars. Let's go this way. There's like a whole center section and I need to look through. Wow. Massive. Surprisingly, that entire room, and I didn't find a single thing. So we're gonna now go this way, see what we can find in this section, 3B. Okay, so the room that I just walked into, I completely walked through it, and I'm now in the next room, which is 4B. So, where are we at here? Oh yes, 4B. Okay, I feel like I'm doing a terrible job on the second floor. So let's just show a few things and maybe not buy them. But we've got the turtle here. I think it's, yeah, that's McCoy. And it's $40. There's some lamps. Those are cool lamps, those two gold ones. So this is the last room on the second floor. Then we've got to go back and fish our way through where I skipped a whole bunch in order to get to the end. Wow, that's a really cool scale. I like that it's oval for $40. Okay, it's been way too long since I bought anything in this video, so we're gonna go with these. They are little bees, salt and pepper shakers, and they have cottages, so they're like little cottage wear pieces. They are marked Japan, and you've got the little tray as well, $9.75. So, I'm gonna get those. There's no chips or cracks on them. That'll be our first addition to the basket upstairs. You know, 
I was thinking, some antique malls have chairs that they put out for people so that, you know, when you get tired, you can sit down, take a rest. This mall, I don't see, they don't, I don't see that they have any chairs, but what they really need are beds. They need to put beds on every floor so that you can just anywhere, anytime, you just take a nap because uh, that's, that's what it's feeling like I need to do. So I am still trucking on here and doing my best. Oh, there's a train. Listen. The train just went by. It's going by right now. Ooh, there's lithographs over there. I, I'll have to go look at them on the wall. But look at this beautiful booth. There are some great looking things. Oh, and this little pixie with this barrel of money. That is a lovely, that is a lovely pixie. Yes. Oh, ooh, I like that color. 30? That's pretty. I like those colors together. And the global bird here for 20. Oh, yes, that's lovely. 40 for that one. We got that lady over there drying herself off for 56. 22 for that one. That is not bad at all. 38. That is beautiful. That one. And then the others I don't really care for. Oh! $50 firm with the flamingos. That is lovely. I like this one the most. It's 38. That's beautiful. I would not mind that one. Oh my gosh. Look at all of the glass. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. That is bonkers. Do you see all the swung vases? <gasps> what? What? Oh my gosh. And then the handkerchief faces. And the Empoli. All the Italian and mid-century glass. Oh my gosh. If this, if you collect these things, this is the place to come apparently. They got the green, the persimmon, the ruby. Oh gosh. Wow. And the canisters, moon and star, Ellie Smith. All of the other moon and star down there, and the green, and the ruby, and the blue, and the fairy lamps. A lot of the Indiana glass ones, the diamond points. Oh my gosh. The stars and stri stars and stripes. <laughs> bars and stars. Or stars and bars. My brain is not working anymore. This, this, um, that, that fruit, that pineapple is cool. $30 for and that. I like that a lot because it's pretty, pretty close to the color of a pineapple. So it's on point. And look at those up there. Oh my gosh. Honestly though, wait a minute. I would not mind getting this one. The tree trunk carnival glass vase for 30. That's a, not a bad price for that. It's a little out of their like wheelhouse with like all the mid-century stuff. Thirty dollars is not bad. I would um well, I don't know. I would sell it for like fifty to sixty, so maybe I shouldn't. I've been buying a lot here. Thirty-six for the blue one. What, what color is that? Oh, that's the amethyst. And then they have the blue. Yeah, the cobalt. That one it's just six dollars more and it's much taller and it's in the cobalt that's tempting <sighs> I can't wow that's real I haven't really seen this one before it says vintage glass poppy design storage jar but that's really cool they're thirty eight dollars each and uh, they're really neat I think we hit the entire upstairs there's technically a third floor. I don't know if I have it in me. I really don't. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna do it. I decided. It's a long trek up. I think this is mostly the floor for furniture. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I don't really have much room for this kind of stuff. I wonder if they have a lot of artwork up here too. But in, you know what, we'll just, we'll be able to walk through it kind of quickly because it's furniture and not so much like stopping and looking at a whole bunch of stuff because 
that takes more time and energy. I'm going straight to this one, of course. $38, it's an Atkinson Fox print. Woman and a baby. Woman and a baby. Okay, we'll go this way. They got multiple rooms just like they have downstairs, but in this case, it's full of furniture. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a cool, I like that, that shelf. 78. That's that same person, W-I-L. Mm. They, they must have like a real big reselling business, like doing house cleanouts or something along those lines. That's a cool patio uh, seat. And then the clam shell, <laughs> clam shell chairs. Yep, a whole nother room full of furniture. <laughs> Just what you would have expected. And there's other kind of stuff up here too. Not just furniture I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a mixture of just generally larger things. Some blow molds, some large art pieces. It's a lot. There's a lot up here. I like that picture there. That one is 150 and it looks painted to me. It's a landscape. A blow mold calendar, 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 calen, what are they called? C colander, no, light. I swear, my brain is not working. Caroler, caroler. Back down the stairs we go. Now we gotta go back down these stairs too. Oh, I need to look through those cases. Well, I'll do that off camera. They've got the music playing down there anyway. I'll look at all them cases and see if there's anything I need to get. But um, yeah, there's the other view. We were, I walked over there too. They've got cases over there as well. There's just a lot, honestly. You need like a full day to do this properly. Well, I'm glad they had that. They have different snacks and then also water, which I desperately needed. I'm, I'll have to get another one actually. So I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the different cabinets they have around here and I noticed a flamingo right over there. So I think it says $60, but I don't know. Maybe it doesn't, my, my eyes aren't that good. So I'll have to go over there and look at it in a second. Yeah, it's 60. I have this one already, so I don't really need it. This beautiful bittersweet for 75. That is so great. Oh, and that hard face or rubber faced plastic face, $28 for that one. And then I also noticed all of this swung glass over here. And the Viking is 138 for the owl, which isn't too bad. Okay, so I have a little burst of energy, but I'm not gonna push it. Um, this is a whole nother room. I don't think I really showed this room, although I shopped it. Um, this is back on the first level. They have all these um, rows full of glassware and just it's just so much so I'm gonna just kind of look through one more time in this room make sure I didn't miss anything and then we'll probably wrap it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here it was really amazing if you haven't watched the first video I did here be sure to check it out because I bought a lot more in that one um, it was just just a huge mall. I re you really need an entire day here. Um, so with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.